Hi everyone, thanks for joining us today. My name is Emily and this is a virtual reality 360 experience for the Arctic Sun Stat Temperature Management System. Today we're going to show you how to deliver targeted temperature management therapy for neonatal and pediatric patients. See, when we go upstairs, can you grab Arctic gel pads and a core temperature probe and I'll get the device? Absolutely, let's get right to it. We'll begin therapy by getting a neonatal Arctic gel pad and placing it on the bed. You wanna make sure you place the pad in the bed with the cloth liner facing up and the blue side facing down. You wanna make sure that the hoses are flowing towards the foot of the bed to, towards the Arctic sun. Next, we'll place the neonate directly on the gel pad. We want to ensure that the baby's skin is coming in direct contact with the cloth liner in order to ensure optimal heat transfer. The baby can stay like this on the pad or we can use the Velcro tabs to place the pad across the baby's abdomen. I'll just use one, like so. If you would like to use positioning devices, you can do so underneath the gel pad around the outside. When treating a pediatric patient on the Arctic Sun Stat temperature management system, pad sizing is very important. You can use the pad size guide hanging from your device. For our patient crews, we can use two different types of pads. We can either use the small universal pad or a set of extra, extra small. First, let's demonstrate the small universal pad. When you take it out of the package, it looks like this. On the other side of it, we have a cloth liner. You can choose to use the pad with the cloth liner in place in order to protect the skin. When doing so, you can secure the the pad to the patient's body using the Velcro straps provided like this. For Cruz, because his skin is mature and intact, we're going to remove the cloth liner in order to expose the hydrogel to stick the pad directly on the patient's skin for optimal heat transfer. You guys can go ahead and open the packages. We're gonna use three small universal pads for Cruz's body. The first one I'm gonna place across his abdomen. Just like this. And I'm gonna keep the pads so that the hoses are pointing to the side of the bed that the Arctic Sun is on. Next, we're going to, I'll have you guys log roll him to the side towards you. And we'll place another pad on his back. Okay, now we can roll him back. Should you choose to use the small universal pad with the cloth liner in place, you can place it around the patient and use the Velcro straps that come in the package in order to secure it next to the patient's skin. Just like that. We want to make sure that the hoses are pointing towards the side of the bed that the Arctic Sun is on and that they're not kinked for optimal water flow. Next, we will demonstrate how to use a package of four Arctic Sun gel pads. For crews, we're going to select extra, extra small pads, which come in a package that looks like this and has a label at the bottom. You can ensure that they are not expired by checking the date. When we open that package of four pads, we'll have two torso and two thigh pads. You can go ahead and pass those over here to me. Thank you. So first, we'll go ahead and roll Cruz towards me 
in order to place the pads on the right side of his body. For the torso pad, you're gonna locate the pad with the long straight edge. And what we're gonna do is peel off the outer layer to expose the hydrogel. And we're gonna line up that long straight edge next to his spine, not on top of his spine. Leave a, about a finger width distance from his spine. And then we can roll him over on his back and the pad will wrap across his abdomen. Next, we'll do the thigh pad. The thigh pad will cover from about his knee to his hip. You want to ensure that the hoses are always anterior to the patient and pointing towards the patient's feet. Okay, this little wing is what's gonna wrap around the back of the patient. If the pads are a little too big, that's fine. They'll just overlap on each other. You wanna make sure you never cut the pads. Okay, so now we can roll Cruz to the other side. To place the torso pad, we're gonna line the long straight edge up next to the patient's spine, allowing for a couple finger width distance between the two pads. We can then wrap it around the torso and roll the patient supine. To place the thigh pad, we'll simply bend the knee. Line up the hoses anterior to the patient, pointing towards the patient's feet, and wrap it around underneath. Ensure that the pads are not too tight to allow for full respiratory excursion. And check the skin according to your hospital protocol for areas of chafing and readjust the pads accordingly. The pads are meant to be readjusted for up to five days on each patient. Now that we have our patient positioned on the Arctic Sun gel pad, we're going to also place a core temperature probe, either an esophageal or rectal probe, and then you will connect it to the temperature cable on the back of the device. Next, we're gonna connect the gel pad to the fluid delivery line. In order to do so, you're simply going to line the hoses up with two of the holes on the fluid delivery line. You're gonna push until you hear a click. Make sure you steer clear of um, squeezing the tabs before you introduce them into the fluid delivery line. So once again, you'll push till you hear it click. You'll ensure that your device is plugged in and powered on, and then we will begin here at the therapy selection screen. We have the options of normothermia and hypothermia. For this patient, we're going to use hypothermia. We'll select that this is a new patient. And here on this screen, you can select your patient population. You will select the patient population based on the pad size that you've chosen for your patient. For this patient, we're going to select neonate. Here on the main screen, you can verify that your device is programmed according to your hospital protocol, here at the bottom. Once you've verified your settings, you can simply click the green start button. Therapy started. Once therapy is started, you will see your patient temperature in yellow and your water temperature in blue. Over time, the therapy graph will start to populate. The dotted yellow line is the target temperature. The solid yellow line will be the patient temperature, and the solid blue line is the water temperature. Once your patient reaches the target temperature, you will see the countdown count down to zero. And then you will get either a notification or depending on how your device is programmed, it will automatically rewarm your patient according to your protocol. Over time, you will also see the patient trend indicator located next to the patient temperature. The trend indicator tells you what your patient's temperature has been trending over the course of the last five minutes. When the arrows are lit up in the downward direction, that means your patient is getting cooler. When the trend indicator is neutral, it means that your patient's temperature is not fluctuating. When you see the arrows on the trend indicator pointing up, that's an indication that you should assess your patient for heat generation, such as shivering, seizure, fever, 
internal bleeding, or other sources of heat generation. Over time, you'll also see a lockout screen, or you can hit the lockout button here. On the lockout screen, you can see your patient temperature, the water temperature, and the trend indicator will be in the bottom right-hand corner. To exit the lockout screen, you'll just hit the button in the upper right-hand corner. If appropriate, you can have the mother hold the patient throughout therapy. And also, you can reposition the patient on the Arctic gel pad as you normally would during your normal care. In order to transfer the patient, ensure that the mom is seated in a comfortable position near the isolate. Then we can simply transfer the patient while they remain on the Arctic gel pad. We'll want to make sure that the pad stays in between the mom and the patient in order to avoid transferring the heat from the mom to the baby. When it's time to stop therapy and disconnect the pads from the fluid delivery line, you'll first want to click stop on the screen. Therapy stop. You will be prompted to click start in order to return the water from the pads back to the device. This process takes about 45 seconds to return all the water from the pads back to the device. Once the screen disappears, then you know you can safely disconnect the pads without any water leaking out. During therapy, you'll want to ensure that you check the patient's skin according to your hospital protocol. And you'll also wanna make sure that the straps are not too tight across the patient's abdomen in order to allow for full respiratory excursion. If at any time you have alerts or alarms or any questions throughout therapy, you can call the 866 number on your device. Once the empty pad screen goes away, then you know you can safely disconnect. In order to disconnect the pads from the fluid delivery line, first you will squeeze the clear tabs you will push in until you hear a click, and then you will pull apart. So once again, that is squeeze, push, then pull. Let's go through the features on the back of the Arctic Sun Stat Temperature Management System. This is the power cable. You must plug it into a power source in order to turn it on. You can turn it on by flipping the power switch here. This is the temperature cable where you're going to connect your core temperature probe. You may also have a secondary cable here to connect a secondary temperature probe. This is the out cable should your hospital choose to use it. This is the fluid delivery line where you will connect your Arctic gel pads. This is the filled tube. If you get an alarm, that says your reservoir is low, you can go ahead and click the fill reservoir button on the main screen. Then you're going to grab a couple liters of sterile water, open it up and place it on the ground. You can remove this tube from its parking spot and drop it into the bottle of water. You will click start on the screen and the Arctic Sun will suck up all the water that it needs. Once that process is finished, you're going to remove the tube from the water and click start again. It will suck all the water out of the straw and then you can replace it where you found it and resume therapy as normal. Indications for use. The Arctic Sun Temperature Management System is a thermal regulating system indicated for monitoring and controlling patient temperature in adult and pediatric patients of all ages. Contraindications. There are no known contraindications for the use of a non-invasive thermoregulatory system. Do not place Arctic gel pads on skin that has signs of ulcerations, burns, hives, or rash. Do not remove the fabric release liner of the neonatal Arctic gel pad and expose the hydrogel. Do not place Arctic gel pads on immature, non-keratinized skin or premature babies.
While there are no known allergies to hydrogel materials, caution should be exercised with any patient with a history of skin allergies or sensitivities. Warnings. When using the Arctic Sun temperature management system, note that all other thermal conductive systems in use while warming or cooling with this device may interfere with patient temperature control. The Arctic Sun temperature management system is not intended for use in the operating room environment. Medavance supplies temperature simulators, fixed value resistors, for testing, training, and demonstration purposes. Never use this device or other method to circumvent the normal patient temperature feedback control when the system is connected to the patient. Doing so exposes the patient to the hazards associated with severe hypo or hyperthermia. Cautions. Due to underlying medical or physiological conditions, some patients are more susceptible to skin damage from pressure and heat or cold. Patients at risk include those with poor tissue perfusion or poor skin integrity due to edema, diabetes, peripheral vascular disease, poor nutritional status, steroid use, or high-dose vasopressor therapy. Examine the patient's skin under the Arctic gel pads. Skin injury may occur as a cumulative result of pressure, time, and temperature. Carefully remove Arctic gel pads from the patient's skin at the completion of use. Aggressive removal or removal of cold pads from the patient's skin may result in skin tears. The rate of temperature change and potentially the final achievable patient temperature is affected by many factors. Treatment application, monitoring, and results are the responsibility of the attending physician. If the patient does not reach target temperature in a reasonable time, or the patient is not able to be maintained at the target temperature, the skin may be exposed to low or high water temperatures for an extended period of time, which may increase the risk for skin injury. Please consult Operator's Manual for more detailed safety information and instructions for use. Federal law, USA, restricts this device to sale by or on the order of a physician.